As you take a look here, problem number two says aluminum reacts with excess copper two sulfate according to the unbalanced equation given below. Okay, so before I do any stoichiometry, I wanna balance this sucker. I'm gonna keep my sulfate together as a polyatomic ion, as a single unit, to make my life a little bit easier. I recognize I've got one sulfate on the reactant side, three on the product side, which means I need to put a coefficient of three here to balance out my sulfates. To balance my aluminums, I need to put a coefficient of two here. And then to balance out my coppers, I need to put a three here. Again, I'm gonna write in the one, but it's not necessary. All right, now that we have a balanced chemical equation that shows us the relationships of all of our reactants and products, let's tackle this problem number two. It says if 1.85 grams of aluminum react and the percent yield of copper is 56.6%, what mass of Cu is produced? Okay, this is still a percent yield problem. The percent yield formula is actual over theoretical times 100. The difference here is we're provided with the percent yield. We're told that the yield is 56.6%. We want to know how much copper is actually produced if we can only expect a 56.6% yield. So anytime we're asked to determine theoretical, we need to go to our stoichiometry. So if I start with 1.85 grams of aluminum, I'm gonna do grams of aluminum on the bottom, so that cancels out, to moles of aluminum on the top. Then I'll put moles of aluminum on the bottom, because I want that to cancel out, and then moles of copper on the top. From moles of copper, I can go to grams of copper, and then notice before I begin, the grams of aluminum will cancel, the moles of aluminum will cancel, moles of copper will be cancel, and I'll be left with grams of copper. Again, it's just important to recognize that when you're comparing two different things in a chemical equation, you have to compare them in terms of moles. So if you're not given moles, go to moles of that thing, then compare to moles of the other thing, and then back to grams if it's asked for it. So let's plug in the numbers. One mole of aluminum is approximately 27 grams from the periodic table. The relationship between copper and aluminum here is a three to two relationship. And again, that comes from the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. Again, grams to moles comes from the periodic table. Again, I'm gonna estimate here and say the mass of copper is about 64 grams. All right, now watch what I do in my calculator. I'm gonna do it one conversion factor at a time. 1.85 times one, enter, divided by 27, enter. What did I just solve for? I have 0 0.0685 moles aluminum. Does that make sense? Yes! Why? Think about it. I have only 1.85 grams, and the mass in one mole is 27 grams. My next step is to figure out how many moles of copper I will have. Well, think about the relationship in the balanced chemical equation. For every two moles of aluminum reacted, I'm gonna get three moles of copper. Three is one and a half times the number two. And if you reduce this fraction to a decimal, you get 1.5. It's gonna be 1.5, whatever the amount of aluminum I have. So I take my amount of aluminum, I multiply by three, divide by two. And I end up with 0 0.103 moles of copper. Again, this is about 0 0.07. Two times that would be 0 0.14. We're looking at about one and a half times that here with moles of copper. And then my last step is to convert it back to grams. So I simply multiply the number of moles of copper by the molar mass, which is approximately 64 grams. And we end up with 6.58 grams of copper. Now remember, this is just theoretically how many grams of copper I should have made. But keep in mind, we should only expect a percent yield of 56.6%. So we shouldn't expect to get 6.58 grams. We should expect to only get 56.6% of that. So how do we solve for X? It just becomes an algebra problem. I take my 56.6 equals X over 6.58 times 100. I divide each side by 100 to get rid of that 100. This becomes 0 0.566 equals x over 6.58. 
I multiply each side by 6.58 to determine my value for x. And we end up with 3.72 grams of copper as my actual yield. This is my actual yield. It's what I actually got. I expected theoretically 6.58 grams, but I should only make about 50-ish, 60% of that.